just sound like pain feelings about this film getting out there. I'm really proud of it. It's a movie that the world needs to see right now. People can come, they can forget their life for a little bit and be whisked away on this journey and come out feeling really fulfilled and really invigorated. And we just can't, we can't wait for people to see it, you know? So I hope that people bring their families and just feel great afterwards. So. Can you tell us about Shorty? Tell him what, what is he about? Shorty, uh, he was great friends with Joe. Um, uh, one of his, yeah, he, um, all of the boys uh, in their sort of, in, in, in their life, uh, day to day, had very difficult jobs, very difficult upbringing, they were poor. And I think the camaraderie between Joe and Shorty in real life was one where they were able to uh, share quite a lot with each other. And therefore, having them row next to each other in the boat, behind each other in the boat, just solidified the confidence I think that gave the boat uh, its extraordinary speed and its extraordinary power you know and that's not just between Shorty and Joe it's between Joe and all the rest of the boys Shorty and the rest of the boys you know and I think during training and things we were really able to kind of forge that that camaraderie together you know and it really shines through so so what you read in the book we were able to kind of uh, bring that out in in the present day and you see it in the movie lovely guy what you see is what you get with him he would come and chill with us between takes talk tell us hollywood how hollywood anecdotes he was he was he was i don't he was uncle george by the end of the film you know like it was it was great and just finally can you sum up for me in a sentence what the boys in the boats is in a sentence like a blockbuster sentence um this film is a symphony of swinging blades. Wowzers! There we go. Maybe. <laughs> Helen, wow, you're with George Clooney on the I know, I know, I know, I know. You're the main man. How's that feel? It's an honor, you know. It's an honor to to be selected by him to be in a film, and I loved working with him and Grant. Those guys, they just set us up to succeed in every moment, you know. And generous and kind and funny and smart and and wicked and they're like they feel like big brothers to me. It's, it's a wonderful feeling. Was this daunting when you signed up for this? You know what was daunting about this was the rowing because all, all of us in the boat had never done it before and it's such a specific skill, there's nothing individual about it. You're completely in unity when you're in that boat and you have to be. Uh, and it was arduous and it was hard but rewarding and fulfilling once we got there. Once yeah. we, once we uh, were able to do it, it was one of the most incredible feelings I've ever had and uh, the closest thing I'll ever be, uh, I'll ever have to being part of a professional sports team. Could you take this up now? Well, you know what? I said no and I haven't done it and the reason I don't think I would want to do it is because it's not with the same people that I did it with. There you go. Good answer. Yeah, did that's Callum true. Did think when he's growing up maybe working alongside George Clooney and you know, being the front man like this? No, but he had his fingers crossed. <laughs> Just finally, why should people see this quickly? Because it's an amazing movie, it's uplifting and it's fun and it's, uh, it's an underdog story and we all love an underdog story. Let's talk about this amazing film then. Why do you want to bring the story to the cinema and to people's lives? Well, I love the book. We love the book. It was a huge, huge, massive bestseller. And it'd been a long time coming and you know when we got the script we thought it was a really you know it, we kind of need a good story we kind of need a nice story uh, right now in the world and so it felt like it was a good time to do a story like this absolutely what was the challenge everything water you know I, I did the perfect storm about 20 years ago no more than that I guess and it, listen the, the once you're in the water everything slows down as you can imagine so it was a lot of it was a lot of work but all those poor guys you know we made them we we hurt them we made them suffer out there were you tempted to get in no are you kidding i'm 62. you know what i'm tempted to do go home put on something warm have a glass of wine yeah what did they blow you away no i don't like them <laughs> Young, tall, handsome guys, I got no time for them. Are you kidding? They're taking jobs away. No, they, listen, they were great, and we really did put them through the paces. We trained them for months to learn how to row. It's not something you can just jump in and do. So uh, I, I, I feel very lucky that I got to 
What about the inspiration? Did you look at any archive footage? Did you sure. Kind of well, there's some amazing footage of the actual guys, but all this stuff. I, we met with the, you know, the Oxford rowing team, and you know, that's the funniest part. I'm 5'11", so I'm not that tall, but I literally look like a jockey. But there's a picture of me with them, and I, they're like, who's that? And I go, that's me. Like, looking up at these you look guys. like cocks. Yeah, I look like the cops. <laughs> I didn't want to say that out loud. It yeah, just I somehow didn't that now. sound right. Somehow. <laughs> these are those kind of sports movies that I grew up loving. So we wanted to make that. Was it up there for one of the favorite things you've been involved yeah, in? Yeah, it's fun to do. Listen, it's hard. This is a hard shoot. Um, but it was ex it was exciting to do. And it was exciting to work with all these young actors who were having a time of their lives. You've finally got this to audiences. Are you something up? How are you feeling right now tonight? I feel I, I feel great. I can't wait to see. You know, I've only seen this with one audience, so it's fun. It's, that's the greatest is when you get to watch it with an audience. What about this story then? Why did you want to bring this to audiences? Because it's a bit of an underrated story, isn't it? It's got yeah. a bit lost in history. Uh, well, you know, it's a spectacular book. You know, so. In some ways, it makes it easy. When you read a spectacular book, then you you know you know you, you have the potential that you know you can make a great movie. Yeah, let's talk about um, the boys in yeah. the boat. <laughs> Just talk to me about how good they were, because it's quite remarkable to think that they did all that. Yeah. Well, um, you know, they trained they trained for months and months, and um, when I first went out to watch them, the first time I went to see them up uh, near Oxford, uh, they were not very good, <laughs> and, and I was worried. And then uh, the next time I went out with George, and then he was worried, we were both worried. Um, but they worked their butts off, and by the time we started shooting, uh, they just got better and better and better. And they, they were and incredible. They, yeah. Just finally sum it up for me in a sentence if you can. Just sum it up the movie. In a sentence. Why should uh, people see it? Because it'll make you feel great. We had just such a great time, everyone. It was just like a it's and it's you know, it it shows in the film too, and the film is um, it'll make you feel good. I think if some of the things didn't happen that happened in the movie they would never have made the movie about it anyway but it's a beloved book and um, I don't know it was just like a fun time to shoot. Can you sum it up for me in one sentence? Sum it up for you? Oh I mean it's a, it's a bit of an against all odds kind of story.